What's up, Cooking with Tammy fam? Feast your eyes on this beautiful breakfast and brunch charcuterie board. Charcuterie boards, as most of us know, has only been used for staging cheeses and meats. But today, we're going to step our creativity up even more. We're going to be making this delicious, beautiful, quick and easy charcuterie board that's going to have the ultimate wow factor. So without further ado, let's get our charcuterie on. For the ingredients, I know you're probably saying like, oh my goodness, what is going on? Tammy's presentation has never looked like this. That's simply because I want you to go into the refrigerator and grab all of your favorite breakfast foods, whether it be pancakes, bagels, jellies, jams, cream cheese, fig butter, pancakes, waffles, sausages, bacon, whatever. Bring it on out, put it on the board, and let's get to staging. First thing that I like to do is, in order to come up with the perfect charcuterie board concept, try to figure out what pairs perfectly with what in order to kind of stage it in that order, if that makes sense. Like for instance, we're gonna be doing eggs, all right? Boiled eggs for that matter. Of course, I like to enjoy croissants with it and cheese, along with maybe sausages, turkey, bacon, so on and so forth. You kind of get where I'm going with this, right? So as you can see, I laid out my eggs. I'm gonna surround it with my croissants. I'm gonna lay my cheeses on down as well. When it comes to the cheeses, get a little fancy with it. You can cut it in cubes, you can slice it diagonal, in triangles, depending on the shape of the cheeses. Just literally have fun with it. grab some of that delicious bacon, and just basically stage it on the board as well, along with our breakfast sausages. Place them in any order. If you want to line your charcuterie board or cutting board with parchment paper, you can definitely do that as well before laying your items on top. I went ahead and made some Belgian waffles. I'm going to lay those down as well. When making a charcuterie board, it's not about perfection, but instead it's about aesthetic. And as you can see, I laid my waffles down at first and then I picked it up because I'm like, okay, maybe if I put it in a different position, it's gonna look even better. So it's all about playing around with it, getting the perfect feel of where you wanna lay your food. Another thing that I find that makes the board stand out is when you utilize different size ramekins or bowls. With waffles and pancakes, I don't know about you, but I love to enjoy mine with syrup. So as you can see, I have my little syrup canister going on. I'm gonna add some maple syrup to that. We're also gonna lay down our strawberry 
and cheese danish i literally got this danish from walmart it came in a package all i did was slice it one up and that was it now here's the thing with the charcuterie board all right there's going to be some gaps and spaces and that's where the fruit comes in find different sized fruits to fill those spaces on up just like i'm doing not to mention most of us, we eat fruit for breakfast anyway. You know what I'm saying? So add those different variations of fruit. Whatever your faves may be. Could be peaches, could be nectarines, apple slices. But for this one, we're going to go a little tropical with it. So I'm going to add raspberries, blueberries, cherries, along with grapes, strawberries, and blackberries. Make sure you fill those spaces on up. Another thing is when you're making a charcuterie board, especially if it's your first time, no rush whatsoever. Take your time and get the job done. We're just going to add some more fruit throughout our board. Just drop it anywhere. Our blueberries fell into the syrup. I guess we now have blueberry syrup. <laughs> I'm going to get my fig butter and add it to a small ramekin as well. And we're going to stage it on up. little element factor i have a little jelly jar that i'm just gonna stick somewhere on this board As you can see, I had more sausages, so I'm going to add it to the board. Lock it in with some fruit to make our board look really full. And of course, as you go along with making your board, feel free to rearrange your items as necessary. There's a few more open spaces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a bunch of fruit to fill the area on up. One of the key factors when making a charcuterie board is, in my opinion, especially when it comes to aesthetics, is every space on the charcuterie board should be filled. I'm not saying it has to be filled with a ton of breakfast food, but at least fill those open spaces on up with fruit. I went ahead and added my strawberry cream cheese to a small ramekin and that's it our beautiful breakfast and brunch charcuterie board is done yes guys take pictures and post them so i can repost them on my instagram for those of you who don't know my ig is cooking underscore with underscore tammy and that's about it guys as always i'm your girl cooking with tammy and i will definitely catch you in another recipe talk to you later bye guys